guys, it's Smith and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in my bathroom. Why are we in my bathroom? Um, because I'm going to be giving you guys my everyday makeup routine. Now I know I haven't been on YouTube in a very, very, very long time. I don't even remember the last time I uploaded my YouTube video. But I wanted to basically change direction a little bit on my YouTube channel. Instead of focusing more so on entertainment, I kind of wanted to focus on what I genuinely like, which is basically beauty, which is the reason why I got into YouTube and inspired me to make a YouTube channel, was to dive into beauty, makeup, hair. But I also wanted to incorporate my own personality. I didn't want to be just a boring old tutorial based type of channel. I did want to showcase my personality and you know, also do makeup. So I wanted to basically focus strictly on beauty this go around and incorporate my personality like I just said like a million fucking times. But yeah, so today I am going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. Even though I don't wear makeup every single day, this is just basically my go-to makeup routine whenever I do decide to wear makeup. If I don't want to do too much, if I just want to put, if I feel like putting on makeup but without doing the utmost, then this is my go-to makeup routine. My makeup routine requires you to have your eyebrows cleaned up. As you can see, my eyebrows are cleaned up. I personally go get them threaded, whether you get them waxed, whether you do them yourself. Definitely go ahead and clean up your brows. Um, I feel like that's the best look to the most perfect, nice brow. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, no brows are gonna be perfect. They're sisters, not twins. But that's just the best way to kind of maneuver it. And actually, believe it or not, it definitely saves time of doing your brows when they're already cleaned up and you don't have to cover much and everything. It's just best to have that done. Also, don't worry about necessarily the products. Um, I know a lot of people think in order for you to have flawless makeup that you gotta spend so much money on so many damn products and you don't. Um, as long as you have a good technique that fits your face and you get the right um, product as far as complexion goes, you should be fine. There's tons and tons of great um, drugstore products or whatever that you could definitely get to help out with your makeup routine. And in this makeup routine, I'm using a mixture of both somewhat high-end and drugstore. So you can get your perfect face no matter what. So you don't have to break the bank just to get a good face. So I'm going to show you guys my makeup routine. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys definitely hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a video because if you just don't get notified or you don't subscribe or you don't hit that bell, what exactly are you doing? And leave a comment down below and tell me what products you guys use and how long does it take for you to do your face? Because to be honest with you, when I do my everyday makeup routine, it probably takes me a long time. I know that if I was actually focused or whatever I'm doing my makeup, I can easily just get my makeup done quick and simple. But when I'm doing makeup, I'm listening to music, I'm talking on the phone, I'm kind of like lagging. But it's also good that you do take your time because patience is key and the key to flawless makeup as well is taking your time and being patient. So, let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm going to use is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I use brow pencil because I already have thick brows as you can see and I don't need too much filling. It's just certain spots that I want a little bit more deeper, darker, more filled in. So I go in with a brow pencil. If you have light brows, then you'll probably want to use like a pomade or a gel, whatever the case may be, to make your eyebrows appear more thicker if that's the look that you're going for. But personally me, I use a brow pencil. So the first thing that you're gonna do is just go ahead brush up the brows and like I said I recently just got mine done or filled in and she did a good job look at these brows okay. oh and before I even begin with the brows make sure you wash your face a clean face is needed okay before you apply makeup good face moisturizer all that good stuff is needed before you go ahead and do your makeup do not put makeup over a dirty face ever in your life all right so we're just gonna go ahead and fill in certain spots. And I do like to extend my tail. I do like a long tail, so I extend my tail a little bit and fill that in. And this is in the color medium brown. So I don't go in with the black, because at the end of the day, I feel like your brows isn't necessarily black. So, And I said my eyebrows are already thick already, so I don't go in with like a black pencil just for the simple fact of the matter is my eyebrows aren't black and I don't want that real bulky look on my brows. I just want my brows to look like my brows but just a little bit more 
filled it in full. And once I get to the front, I'm going to do individual stroke hairs and I bring these stroke hairs out a little bit more because I don't know, personally, I feel like my eyebrows are a little bit far apart. I wish my brows were a little bit closer together. So I do extend them out a little bit. And you can see here, I kind of messed up at the bottom. That's okay, wipe that off. And follow the shape of your natural brow. Look at that. You see how that is? And then after I'm done filling the M, you're gonna take the brush. Well, I'm going to take the brush of the brow with, and I'm going to blend all that together so you don't see the, ba the lines, basically, that you created while trying to fill in your brow. And when I mess up, I really just use my finger to wipe off what I put there. And you don't have to worry about your tail. If you make your tail too thick, it's okay. We're gonna clean that up with concealer when we go in and carve out our brows. Yes, my own. Yes, my own. I really love my brows, y'all, actually. That's probably one of my favorite things that I like is my brows. My favorite feature of myself. And I worked hard on getting my brows. Y'all don't understand how many times I actually start over. That's why I don't play and I'm very picky about who I go with that does my brows. They look good. But I'm very picky about who I go with that does my brows because I work so hard to reach a certain shape. And you know, when you basically reach a certain shape and somebody messed it up, it's kind of like you gotta go back in and you have to basically wait until your eyebrows grow back out. Well, that's at least what I do. If my eyebrows ever get messed up, I actually wait until my eyebrows go, like basically grow back fully. And then I go back in and kind of be very precise on how I want them to clean up my brows because I do want my brows to have a specific shape. I do not play about my brows, I'm very picky about my brows. Cause your eyebrows just basically, it shape your face. And that's better on there. So, justice for your brows. And I'm just going in with that pencil to just blend everything together. You can see how I reached out in front. It's a little light, it's not as dark, but I'm telling you it probably, it may look weird to y'all a little bit right now, but it's gonna get right once you finish the face. Now that your brows are filled in, I go in and clean up my brows. But before I go in and clean up my brows, I actually like to prime my face. Now I'm going to be using Milk's um, Primer, Hydro Primer. It's so, so, so good. It's a gel primer and it really sticks. It does good, girl. Um, I've seen Alfred Lewis. If y'all know who Alfred Lewis is, I love him down boots. Um, and I seen him use it and I was like, hmm, I wanted to try it because I've been looking at different primers or whatever that I've been wanting to use. And because I like the dewy look kind of and I like to use more hydrating primers more than mattifying primers because I low-key have dry skin. So I seen him use this and I was like, oh, this seems like this is like the perfect base. Like, let me try it out and I've been hooked ever since. And I apply it on right before I go in and clean out my brows because you would want your primer to actually seep into your skin and actually prime and do what it's supposed to do and create that barrier of your makeup. So of course, like I said in the beginning of the video, promote good skin at the end of the fucking day. And then what I'm going to go in is with this Born This Way Concealer. This is in the color Sand. Now this is my first time actually trying this concealer so I hope it works out for me. Um, I thought it was too light at first when I first got it but it might not be that light. We're gonna try it out. I don't know why I think I'm just so like, I got so much melanin when I'm really pale. But we're gonna try it out. But I'm gonna use this to carve out my brows. And I'm going to just rub a little bit on the back of my hand and we're going to carve out these brows. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I use a very small, precise pencil or brush because when I'm carving out my brows, I like it to be very specific. And in the comments down below, tell me if y'all like this setup. This is giving me very much like Vogue. You know how like Rihanna and all the celebrities be doing like their makeup routine? That's what I feel like I'm giving. And then we're just going to bring that down. Don't worry, we're going to blend this out eventually. But this is just prepping it for the blending and it kind of gives me an idea of how my brows are going to look. 
and it acts as an eye base even though I'm not really gonna put eyeshadow under my eye and you always want to I like to underline my eyes with a lighter color because I do like that bone highlight but you don't want to go too damn light you don't want to go too light and have a ghost brow that's what we don't want that's that's the look we don't want we don't want ghost brow you see I made this too wide so I'm just gonna use the concealer to kind of cut that tail off and like I said I do like to extend my tail because I do like a longer brow look personally and if I feel like I made my eyebrow too thick you can use the concealer to cut it off but that's why it's important for you to use a precise brush to get precise and make your brow look how you want it to look and make sure you kind of blend under your brow too you don't want a thick layer of concealer under your brow and the concealer actually helps out with perfecting the shape that you want look at that i know i still look a little crazy but just pay attention to the brows look how these brows look boo now that we done with the brows and like i said you see that i really didn't have to do much the brows normally if you don't have brows just you gotta use a lot of product a lot of coverage you see how quickly i was just done with my brows it's done period we moving on now the next thing i'm gonna move on to is contour believe it or not yes i like to go ahead and actually map out where i want my contour and highlight and then use foundation and blend everything up together um i learned this technique if i believe correctly it was from jackie Ina first and i seen everybody really basically doing like on tiktok and everything on different makeup tiktok trends and stuff and i was like oh, let me try it and i tried it and believe it or not it blends out perfectly it saves you a lot of time and it's just a very good very very good technique so I'm going to start off with contour first. This is the Anastasia foundation stick that I use for contour. And this is in the color Walnut. So I'm going to go ahead, carve out my cheeks, round up, carve out my cheeks, round up. Now the reason why I do this is because I feel like I have a long face. So this helps out to for like oval size uh, shape faces or if you have like a long face kind of like me then I seen this on TikTok actually that this is the best way that you'll want to contour. It'll give you a more fuller cheek, a higher, like basically like a higher cheekbone and kind of extend your face um, wider. And I feel like this works for me so this is what I do. Okay. And then also if you have a wide, or I'm sorry, if you have a long face um, and you want to basically widen out your forehead or whatever the case may be, you'll want to contour just in the middle. And I also have a big forehead, so of course we want to shrink that a little bit. And yeah. And don't worry, me, I will blend it out because I did my baby hairs before because, and that's another thing too, another tip. If you do baby hair, you have any style that requires baby hair, make sure you do your baby hair first. You do not want to do your makeup first because that is going to cause the makeup to blend into your baby hair. And then you're going to get all that, um, that weird looking stuff. We don't want that weird looking stuff where your baby hair look all cakey and all that. We don't want it. Okay. Then the chin. So I feel like I have a big chin. We gonna cut that motherfucker off just like that. Look at that already. Okay, and then cheeks. Cut that chin off and cut that jaw. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Oh, also, don't do like I do and do your makeup in white. <laughs> Stupid, but this is my makeup shirt. I use this specifically for makeup. Well, I made this my makeup shirt just now. And I'm going to be using this specifically for makeup from now on. If I get makeup on it. Then we're going to take the Born This Way Concealer, the same concealer in sand that I did to highlight my under, under my brow. And I'm going to use this to place the concealer. Now this I found on TikTok as well, where you basically don't highlight, bring that all the way down or whatever the case may be. It's actually best to highlight just in the corner of your eye and right here if you want that good eye lift, this is the best way that you'll want to contour. And with this, I see that a little product goes a long way. So this may be probably even more than enough. I'm gonna highlight down the bridge of my nose and in the middle of my 
forehead and right here. And actually, I don't want to highlight on my chin because I don't want to bring out my chin more than it already is. Okay? Okay. So now that I look like, I don't know what the hell this is at all, um, I need to wipe off this on the back of my hand. Now, you are also going to get you kind of like a flat brush like this. And I just take a little bit more of that concealer and kind of just cut my contour like this. And then I bring it down. And this technique is just basically going to give you that sharp contour, kind of very high cheekbone look when you blend everything out, okay? And do the other side. Uh-oh, almost fucked up and bring it down. And I find doing this technique better helps your placement of your makeup. It helps making sure you get the areas that you really want to get. And you don't have to worry about this. I know I just put a little blush right there. It's gonna be blended out anyway. And I like to highlight on the corners of my mouth. Just like that. We're done with the contour and highlight. We're going to go in with the foundation and blend everything together. So now for foundation, I go ahead and use the NARS. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Like I said, I love like a very skin-like finish, dewy. And this is in the color Bahia or Medium Dark, I'm not sure. I, I don't, I'm not sure which one is the actual color, but if you see anything that says Bahia or Medium Dark, this is the color that I'm in, okay? I'm gonna straighten that up a little bit. And I'm also gonna put this on the back of my now when it comes to my under eye, when we're blending out my under eye, I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend out my under eye. Another thing that I like to do, um, I like to like my concealer to sit a little bit under my under eye because it makes it a little bit thicker and gives you the fullest coverage. So that's another reason why. Foundation on the back of my hand, my skin color, I start off with a little bit because with this technique, you really don't need a lot of coverage already. You're really just trying to use this to kind of blend everything together. Okay, and you can already kind of see how my face is gonna look when I'm pretty much done and blended. It's gonna look flawless. So we're going to dip into there and you'll wanna basically continue to kind of like dap off like the access a little bit because you don't wanna pick up a lot of product. And you're going to use literally a light hand and you're just gonna blend everything together. And I'm going in circular motions using a light hand because I just feel like that's just works best for me. Just like that. I'm losing a little bit of product, moving to my face, blending out that contour. And you can already see how everything is coming together. I'm still not done blending, but you see it's already the coverage. Look at that. Oh God, Jesus Christ. Come on, bitch. And I said start off with a little because as you can see, I don't need much. And I'm going to stop right here because I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend out under my eye. But you see how that just kind of blended in so smoothly? And you can see I got that clean, nice cut. I don't want it that sharp, so I'm going to just blend it out a little bit and leave it at that. And we're also going to have to set this anyway with a powder. Everything, any liquid that you use, you're going to have to blend out with the powder anyway to set that. Blend out my chin. And look how that just kind of blended out and cut my chin. Hello? Do y'all not see the fucking results? Look at that. Blend it out, you still see the highlight. Come on, like I'm telling this technique is just it. It's just it, girl. Blend it out. The key to flawless makeup as well is blending. Blend, 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 blend for your life. And don't worry about this. This is actually a laser burn under my chin that I'm still working on getting rid of and hiding. I'm gonna cover that up a little bit. Now we're gonna blend out the contour. And if you run out of makeup product, of course, just go ahead and add some more to the back of your hand, your little palette. And like I said, I'm going in circular motions using a light hand. Because at the end of the day, we don't wanna diffuse everything that we're necessarily doing. We just want to blend these things out. You still want your contour, 
your highlight and everything to be there, as you can see, but you want to blend it out. And then we're going to move to the forehead. Now, with the baby hair, you're going to just slightly move that up into the spaces where your skin is actually showing. And you can be very precise with this because I'm very precise and I promise you it'll still look blended and flawless, as you can see. And then we're gonna blend that highlight into the contour, taking it slowly, section by section. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure that y'all see everything that I'm doing. You see how that's slowly blending and diffusing, but you can still see that highlight and you can still see the contour. Come on, like this is amazing. I'm actually shocked because I didn't expect for this to come out this as good as it's coming out so far, but let me not get too excited because one little thing could honestly fuck everything up and I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> and as you notice, I did not highlight the top of my brow because like I said, we don't like ghost brow and I'm no ghost. I know I'm wearing white, but I'm no ghost. Yeah, I don't like highlighting under my eye. And I'm just going back all over my face to make sure that it's blended. And like I said, in the center of my face and my nose, I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend those things out. So the face is blended, covered. We're going to go in with my Real Techniques. This is Drugstore. Real Techniques Beauty Blender or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to blend out our concealer. And like I said, the key is to blend. Blend for your life. And make sure you get all up in the under eye. And now that you have everything basically blended out, my under eye and everything, I'm going to take my e.l.f. eye contour brush, but I'm actually going to use it for a nose contour. And you're just going to go ahead and kind of lightly carve out how you want your nose contour. Now me, for my nose contour, I just took my brush, twirled it around, picked up a little bit of product from the contour or foundation stick, the Honest Eyes of Beverly Hills foundation stick. And I'm just using that to kind of create a guide for my nose contour. Now the reason why I do this is simply because I'm very precise and picky about my nose contour. And when it comes to my nose contour, I like it to be a certain way and I sometimes don't always get it right on the first try. So I like to go ahead and use a cream. So just in case if I do mess up or I need to redo something, I could easily kind of like blend that out and start over. And I'm going to bring it up into my brow, as you can see, because I like that look or that feel. And of course, like I said, with all of these liquids and creams, we're going to go ahead and set it off, set it, I'm sorry, with a powder anyway. And I'm just going to do the same to the other side. And I'm just not going in heavily with the cream. I'm just picking up a little bit at a time and going in. And I know it seems a little light, but like I said, I don't really like heavy contour anyway. This is not a drag show. This is an everyday makeup look. So I'm not trying to be snatchy, snatch, snatch, but I'm trying to be snatch. And as you can see, I'm giving you my goal. <laughs> no, okay. And blend that up into my eyebrow. And we are done with the nose contour. Now that we're done with the nose contour, we're going to go ahead and set under our under eye and set our contour. We're going to basically just set our face essentially. So to set my under eye, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Face Powder or loose finishing powder and this is in the color light medium and I'm going to be use this to set under my eye. So we're going to tap it on the back to get some of that product out and this is my first time using this too so we're trying new products together bitch. How you open this? Girl I ain't got no nails and I'm trying to open this up. It's hard. Okay. Make sure you blend under your eye before you go ahead and set. So 
The powder is on the other side. I'm using the other side to blend under my eye. And then I'm gonna turn it over and set my face or set my under eye. I always find it funny that people make them faces when they like blend out of their eye. <laughs> it's so funny. And I blow out the excess before I pat. And I don't like to really bake. I like to pat in again, other side, blend out. And you're gonna say anywhere you basically put highlight. And I like to set around here because I crease up here a lot. Set down that forehead. And again, you don't need a lot. I put a lot under my eye or I go back in multiple times just for the simple fact that my under eye tends to crease a lot. Well, a lot of people's under eye crease a lot. And that's where most of the, my lines basically show. And bitch, I don't want no lines to show. I want my under eyes to look as full as possible. Like I got under eye fillers and I style on that. And I also highlight or cut my contour with the powder as well. And also it's good to put it on your face because it is a face powder. Then after you set all the places where you basically went in and highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and set my contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly, Anastasia Beverly Hills. <laughs> powder bronzer and this is in the color mahogany and I'm going to use this contour brush and go in and tap twice dust off excess and lightly in a circular motion set where I contour after you set your contour you're gonna go in with your blush I use the Juvia's Place Zulu palette for blush and I go in with this pink shade here and I just lightly go in and tap like so and that is my blush. I also use this palette to go in with the brown shade here and I just put a little bit of that on my lids to, you know, add a little bit of definition to my lids, a little color. And after that, you're gonna apply your mascara, set your face, and that's my everyday look. Once you're done with that, I'm gonna go in with my setting spray, which is the Milani Make It Last Dewy. Set my face. and add your lip and that is my everyday makeup look thank you guys so much for watching again make sure you guys subscribe to my channel hit that uh, bell notification bell and wait for my next upload thank you guys for coming and watching and always kick it with me and stick it with me through everything and i'll see you guys in my next one i love you bye all my bad bitches